Welcome to The Schoolyard, the show where we break down some of history's most unknown figures of color. Today we ask, who is Katherine Johnson? Katherine Johnson is a mathematician who rose to significance after working for NASA in 1953. She was born Katherine Coleman on August 26, 1918 to parents Joshua and Joylette Coleman in White Sulphur Springs, Greenbrier County, West Virginia. Her obsessive counting at a very young age suggested a possibility in the field of mathematics. But due to the lack of a high school in her hometown, Johnson and her siblings would travel to Institute West Virginia with her mother every September while her father stayed back home in Greenbrier to work the local hotel. Institute was an all-black town with several well-educated residents. It was here where she would meet some of her greatest influences, including high school and college teacher Angie Turner King. In 1937, Johnson graduated summa cum laude from West Virginia State, majoring in French and mathematics. She lived a moderately quiet life as a substitute teacher in Newport News, Virginia, with her husband James Goebel and their three daughters. Later on, Johnson managed to get employed as a human computer at the National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics, NASA's predecessor. At a time before calculators were a simple app in everyone's phone, human computers used slide rules and mechanical calculators to perform complex mathematics. During this time, segregation and prejudice were very real. Men with similar positions and qualifications were classified as professionals, while women were classified as sub-professionals. Black mathematicians, however, were entirely segregated. They were forced to work in their own little offices, being called upon only when needed. In 1957, when the launch of the Soviet satellite Sputnik was announced, Johnson was appointed to lead a team of women in the Flight Research Division, where they would assist in one of America's greatest accomplishments, sending a man to the moon. Beginning with the first manned spaceflight called Mercury, Johnson plotted the trajectory of the trip brilliantly noticing a parabola and working the geometry backwards. Her math skills helped launch Alan Shepard into space in 1961. Johnson spent three decades at NASA, and in 2015, she was awarded the National Medal of Freedom by Barack Obama himself. Just this last May, at 96 years old, she got to see the Katherine G. Johnson Computational Research Facility named in her honor, the very same building she was once considered too black to work in. Thanks for hanging out with us at the schoolyard. If you like finding out who's who, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if you'd like to suggest someone for a future video. Peace and love. Thanks for watching.